What's going on everybody, it's David here, and today we are taking a look at the Nike Metcon Free 3, which probably has to be the worst Metcon that has come out to date, but we're gonna take a look at it anyways. Now, I do have to admit that I know you guys flame me in the comments, so uh, at the end of this video, we're actually gonna go through those comments, um, and I'm gonna respond to those comments, uh, because I feel like, especially after having this shoe now in my hand, a lot of my comments uh, and all the things that I said have definitely been reinforced, but let's go ahead and get into today's video. Now, first things first, this shoe has a lot uh, going on that's essentially completely different than the previous models of the Metcon Free, the one and the two. Uh, the main things that you're going to notice with this shoe, uh, the first thing is the upper has been completely redesigned. Um, I would say the only real thing that is the same uh, with regards to the one and the two is the pull tabs. Uh, so you got the heel pull tab here in the back and then the heel pull tab or the front pull tab in the front. And then the lacing system has the same flywire lacing system, but you'll also notice that the TPU heel counter uh, that was found on the one and two uh, that also acted as a lace tightening system has also disappeared. So um, I think one of the things that you'll notice if you have had the one, uh, specifically if you have the one, uh, which is the one that I have, is that um, the uh, shoe didn't feel very tight very often. That was fixed with the two uh, when they moved the, um, the lace tightening uh, mechanism here, uh, this plastic clip here, and then they moved it to the front a little bit, which allowed to get you a tighter fit on the forefront of the shoe. That's completely gone, um, which I, I can understand why they would make that decision because with this version of this shoe, um, you can just get a little bit more of a uniform fit with the shoe. But, uh, you know, in my opinion, I really liked this uh, lace tightening system. I think it added to the design of the shoe um, as well as added some extra durability. So that's the first thing that you're gonna notice that has disappeared with this shoe. Okay, so the second thing that you're gonna notice with this shoe is that the Duracage-like material that was on the one and the two is now completely gone on the upper. Um, what now is left is this almost just like this very like fabric type material. Um, you know, with the one and two in regards to durability, um, I would say that in regards to like general like weather, wet weather specifically, you're not going to find much protection there. Your shoes are going to get soaked um, and that's going to be no difference with the shoe. But I think the thing that had that was going well for the shoe uh, for the one and the two is that the Duracage like material definitely did add some overall protection to the shoe in regards to like abrasion from other types of material that might fall on your shoe. I think the most important or the most um, applicable scenario would be during things like rope climbs. Um, you will find that with on this shoe, I think what will end up happening is that this shoe might get eaten up just a little, I would not even just a little bit, a lot more than the previous models because there's nothing that's protecting the fabric. Um, this nylon like fabric uh, from getting a braise. So um, I think the durability of the upper has definitely gone down uh, significantly. And uh, lastly, some other changes to the upper of the shoe. We do have some 3D printed materials on the shoe on the upper and like more stressed areas to add a little bit more protection and durability there. Um, I think overall the um, 3D printed um, overlays don't really add much to the overall durability of the upper, but I guess we can give them an A for trying. And then we also have these swooshes here on the upper of the shoe. To be quite honest, I really feel like this shoe is like a boot camp shoe uh, from the look of it and the silhouette. Um, I've said this before, and you can typically find this with most shoes that come out. Every, I would say two to three um, versions of a shoe, you'll see a very significant change in regards to what a shoe looks like. Um, and the, the direction that we're heading now with this shoe, I'll definitely say that we are probably heading into a, a terrible direction, but I'll save my overall opinions to the end. Now, the second thing that we're gonna move on to, or the next thing that we're gonna move on to, is the outsole and the midsole of the shoe. Um, in terms of material, it's pretty much virtually the same between the one and two, as well as the three. The only difference that we're gonna see here is that um, the outsole or the midsole 
on the Metcon uh, Free 3 is a lot different. Um, and I'll, I'll say that to the degree of, um, it appears that Nike designed this to have a little bit more flexibility than the one and the two, which I, very, I find that very uh, uh, funny because the shoe, the one and the two are designed to be as flexible as possible given the other models of shoe uh, that are in the Nike free line of running shoes. Like those shoes are designed to have a very barefoot like feel. So I'm not really sure why they have this like teeth like designed. I'm not sure what other kind of flexibility they're really looking to add here. Um, another thing that you will notice on this shoe is that there is no longer any sort of rope uh, protection uh, on the shoe, like on the ones and the two. Um, the ones and the two had a, what would be considered a carbon like um, rubber uh, that's used to help to protect when you are doing rope climbs, that has disappeared from the shoe. So um, uh, this shoe now predominantly only has a EVA uh, molded uh, midsole, outsole, uh, combination here. So, um, you know, if you're planning on doing rope climbs with this shoe, I would probably not advise that uh, because if you've had Nike Freeze and if you had the ones and twos, I mentioned this in my first video when I reviewed these guys, um, these did not last very well to rope climbs. These shredded the first time I did rope climbs with them. So you can imagine that if you do plan on doing rope climbs with this shoe, this shoe is going to get eaten alive. Now, some other things. Now, some other things that are going on with the shoe, uh, some other elements, um, the heel is a little bit different. Um, you don't have this sort of like rounded um, sort of a heel or design. Um, it's a little, it sits a little bit more flat to the ground. Um, and then they added rubber, uh, the rubber that would have been um, on the, um, the midfoot area uh, has kind of moved to the back as sort of just like a cover on the back of the heel. Um, I, I think the idea here is to add a little bit more stability. Um, this shoe is not a very stable shoe in regards to uh, doing any sort of heavy lifting movement. So if you're planning on PRing your cleans or you're planning on uh, PRing your back squat, I would not do it in the shoe. Granted, there's gonna be some individuals that do it anyways. And I think that comes down to a very individualized basis. But if you are somebody who hasn't been training for very long, um, and you're going for max attempts, I would definitely say if you plan on buying this shoe, buy another pair of lifting shoes and lift in those, and then use these for your cardio movements or your cardio workouts, uh, because this, the heel of the shoe, it's, it's foam. So you're not gonna get the same feeling. Um, but again, uh, they're trying to add some more stability to the shoe with the, um, the uh, heel cap here. Um, and it is definitely very hard. I don't know if you guys can hear that. Um, so you can you could definitely tell that there is going to be some stability there, but overall, the way that this outsole is designed, um, it's more of, I would say, a running shoe or a boot camp shoe than it is an actual CrossFit shoe. Now, I'll say it again, I think the first uh, Nike Metcon Free that came out was probably the best design um, outside of any of these shoes, outside of the minor issue of the forefront of the shoe not feeling very tight, which was fixed in the second one. The first one also had a heel clip for handstand pushups, which the two doesn't have. This has none of that. So um, if you do plan on doing handstand pushups, keep that in mind. Uh, overall, um, in terms of my first sort of opinions with this shoe, I'm, I'm going to reinforce what I said earlier in my first video that I don't think that this is going to be a very good CrossFit shoe. Um, the Metcon free line of CrossFit shoes in and of itself was already kind of a very um, general sort of shoe. I think it's great for running. I've been doing long distance running in my uh, ones. Um, but with these, I would say maybe that's gonna be the case to where if you're doing a lot of running, maybe you're doing a lot of box jumps, this might be the shoe that you want to wear um, for something like that. But outside of that, I don't think there's gonna be a whole lot of other aspects or features of the shoe that really play to its strengths. Another thing, and I mentioned this earlier, that's missing from the shoe is the rope climb protection. I feel like that's kind of uh, a must have with a good CrossFit shoe. Um, if you don't have rope climb protection, what's the point of designing the shoe or using it for CrossFit? 
Um, I would say it's probably just more of a, a functional fitness shoe or, or maybe just a trainer. I wouldn't necessarily put it in the category of being a CrossFit shoe. So that's gonna be one of the biggest dings that I would give to the shoe. And I think overall with this design of the shoe, again, I think it's, it's, a, it's a boot camp shoe. It's a Barry's boot camp shoe. It's not a CrossFit shoe. Um, so if you are looking at um, a shoe uh, to use for CrossFit, I would definitely say look at something else. There's a lot of other better shoes that are worth spending your money on. I would say the thing with this shoe, um, I would say Skechers came out with a better shoe than the Nike Metcon Free 3. At least that shoe was A, affordable. It had a lot of the bells and whistles in regards to uh, basic protections that you would want with CrossFit. Um, and, um, you know, it's, it looks better than the shoe. I would rather wear the Skechers Go Trainer than wear the shoe. Uh, but that's just my opinion. Again, I always say, if you're interested in something, definitely try it out for yourselves, but I'm definitely going to caution you guys. Um, it's not worth the money. I think there's a lot better shoes out there. I would even say that um, the two would be a better option and you can actually get it on sale right now for about $65 on nike.com. So I would say go stock up on those shoes uh, because when those are gone, they're probably gonna be gone for who know, for forever um, and don't waste your money on this shoe. So that's my overall opinion with this first hand look. Uh, of the Nike Metcon Free 3. Um, I, I said it before that I was going to buy the shoe and I did. Um, it's a waste of money for me, but for you guys that uh, flame me in the comments, uh, you know, this is proof that I'm putting my money where my mouth is. So uh, with that guys, let's go ahead and hop into the comments of the last video. All right, so the first comment was from Corrections and he said, let me get this straight. You're trashing it and you don't have it and you haven't tried it in person, how are you qualified to tell anyone not to buy it or that it's trash? Well, if you've watched any of my other videos, that's what I do on this channel is review different CrossFit shoes and products. So uh, based off of what the initial images that we have, I definitely do feel that I do have some credibility. You can see all the other videos that I've done. I've reviewed the first one. Um, I've also reviewed other CrossFit shoes. So uh, definitely take a look at my other videos if you are confused about what's going on here. All right, so the next comment comes from Marty Alvarado and he says, uh, I picked these up from on sale from Dix. I'll be the first to say I did not like the way it looked online. I decided to order it for $90 and I have to say I really like the shoe. I've done a couple of wads in them and I'm impressed. Stable for lifts and comfortable to run in. I have every current CrossFit functional fitness shoe, including previous free mat cons, uh, and these are pretty darn good. In my humble opinion, the best measure of a shoe is not realizing that you're wearing it at all. It checks all my boxes, looks are subjective, and all opinions are valid, but best outlooks come with firsthand experience. You know what they say, books and covered. I would definitely agree, and that's something that I preach on this channel if you watch any of my other videos, that you should always test things for yourself. Um, my opinion is just my opinion, and that's all I'm really sharing. But at the same time, again, as I mentioned to the previous commenter, I have reviewed quite a bit of shoes. I've purchased tons of different shoes. I have weightlifting shoes, you know, that are older than sand. I have, you know, current weightlifting shoes. I have Nikes. I have Reeboks. I purchase everything to try to figure out what works best for me, and I try to share my opinion based off of things that are um, that I feel, in my opinion, are very essential. I would also say I think it's important to note that, again, with the experience that I have with multiple different shoes, um, I you know, would go off of based off of my previous experience. Um, if you see my other videos, you'll get a sense of you know, uh, my outlook on how I approach um, these videos. So take that with a grain of salt, test everything, test things for yourself, Marty Alvarado, I'm glad these work for you. Um, again, opinions are subjective. Next comment is from Jay Bot, Jay Bots, and he says, bruh, if it gets the job done on my home gym, I will still buy it regardless of how it looks. Again, I have no problems with that. If it works best for you, that's great. Um, if it doesn't, get your money back. Um, you know, for a lot of people, these people, most people, there might be a lot of people that like this shoe. I personally don't. I do definitely think this is a step back based off of previous models that have come out. Um, you can 
feel free to argue that point, but I think there's a lot of things from the shoe that have been stripped down um, that I'm definitely bummed on because I think the previous models were actually better versions of the shoe than what we have now. Um, and yeah, uh, next comment from Zachary Bloom. Them four though, fours though, and I would definitely agree. Um, who knows what the four is gonna look like. Uh, I hope the fours that come out look better than this shoe. I hope ultimately that Nike takes a second look at how they've designed the shoe and realize that this is not a CrossFit shoe. But again, that's my opinion, it's a subjective. Next comment is from Herms. So just trash it even though you don't have it. Yes, I did just tra trash it. These are my opinions. I'm sharing my opinions based off of my experience. Um, go check out my other videos based off of uh, you know what I have um, put out. You'll see why I'm thinking and I gave my opinion the way that I did. Next comment is from LF. Haven't seen it in person or worn them for a workout and you're just trashing them. Yes, I am just trashing them. Um, again, I think I, I feel and I, 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 I would say I'm pretty confident to say that I feel like my opinion is very valid. I've worn Nikes, I've worn Reeboks, uh, I've bought Adidas CrossFit shoes that I've also reviewed on this channel. So uh, I give everything a fair evaluation. I purchased this shoe even though I didn't like it. Um, and my opinion may change when I do the final evaluation. Next comment is from Active Gear Lab. Uh, and he said, yes, I 100% agree, David. The Metcon Free 1 was the perfect CrossFit shoe. If anyone is interested, I have a workout review video here. Definitely go check out that video because again, even though my opinion is my own, I know there's other people that agree with me that think that this shoe looks and probably performs like garbage. Uh, next, next comment, Spear Ruler. How do you review a shoe without wearing it? It's speculation. People do it with the market all the time. It's the same thing. I always try to have a sort of like first look or, hey, this is coming out. These are my opinions. And then I'll go ahead and review the shoe. I'll do an unboxing and then I'll also do like a performance uh, next step uh, for a lot of people uh, being that this video i think hit the first page of google for this search term uh, may not have seen my other content so definitely go check out my other videos because you'll kind of see you know how i operate on this channel last shoe or last commenter uh, is from kevin jackson he says give a review after you've worn the shoe again these are first impressions um and i think i titled the video uh no i did not but this is a first impression. The previous video was a first impression video, just kind of giving my thoughts on what I'm initially thinking going into the shoe. That doesn't mean that when I get this shoe in, in hand, my opinion won't change. Um, I always preach and tell everyone, hey, make sure you test things for yourself. You can ask any of my friends the same thing. Look at the, all the shoes that I've reviewed on this channel. I've reviewed Strike Movement, I've reviewed Nike, I've reviewed Adidas, I've reviewed Reebok. Um, I'm not partial to any brand or to any shoe. Um, I hold no sort of um, um, loyalty uh, to any of these companies because I'm not on their payroll. They don't employ me. They don't pay me to share my views. So these views are my own. If, if you guys don't agree with that, that's fine. And that's why I like having this discussion for you guys to give that opinion. You guys blame me a little bit though, which it is what it is. Uh, I'm not upset, but I'm sticking to my opinion. So. Next things next, um, I'm going to be testing this shoe for the next two to three weeks. I'm uh, gonna give you my opinion of how it performs. Obviously with everything going on with COVID-19, um, I'm gonna be limited in regards to the scope of uh, training uh, that I can do at the moment because my gym was closed. Um, pretty much all gyms are closed. Uh, I haven't been able to weightlift, uh, which is my primary um, training methodology for the last um, two months. So uh, this opinion is going to be purely based off of long distance running and CrossFit, uh, mostly body weight movements and whatnot. So uh, I will be giving you guys my opinion there. Uh, again, it is my opinion. It's not anybody else's opinion. So uh, you guys can um, take that as you guys see it. Uh, and again, I'm going to preach and say that I think this is a garbage shoe, um, but we'll see how that 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 turns out. Um, I am pretty stoked because the next video that I'm going to be doing is going to be on the Nano 10. Um, I purchased those when they, right when they came out for uh, availability for purchase, which was last week. 
um, and then I got my, I'm supposed to be getting it in the mail tomorrow. So um, the next video after this will be the Nano 10. Um, I'm really stoked because if you've seen my other videos, I was not stoked on those shoes. Um, the eights were very unstable uh, to some degree, but uh, they're very comfortable. The nines are garbage. I don't wear my nines. I don't even remember the last time I wore my nines. I think they've been at my locker in the gym for the last like three months um, because I don't wear them. Um, and so I'm really stoked on this new design, the 10. So we'll see what this looks like. Um, it looks pretty good, at least from like the colorways and stuff like that. So, you know, I'm going to have to give a plus one to Reebok right now and a negative one to Nike because they took a step back. So guys, that's going to be it for this video. Let me know your guys' thoughts down below in regards to, did you agree with me? Did you disagree with me? Obviously, most of you guys are going to be disagreeing with me, but it is what it is. Um, also, definitely go check out Joel from as many reviews as possible. He also did a review on this shoe, and I think he kind of had the same sentiment in regards to what this shoe is. Um, so definitely go check that out after you guys watch this video. And with that, guys, uh, that's going to be it for today. I'm going to go cook my pot roast. Um, and yeah, I'll catch you guys later in the next video. As always, may your barbells be heavy and your coffee be black. This is David, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.